Greetings everyone, I am Lotus Prince, and for this Let's Play, we are going to tackle something terrifying. We are going to play Never Ending Nightmares. You may recall a while back that I tackled a portion of the alpha of the game. I did not go any further because, number one, my freaking nerves, and number two, I did not want to spoil myself regarding any further content that might come up, so I left it off at one installment. Well, now we get the complete package, so there's going to be some stuff that we may recognize, and a lot of stuff that we don't. This is one of those games where you are on edge the entire time. It's almost entirely black and white. The parts that matter, the things you can interact with, are in color. And we're talking doorknobs on doors, blood, pictures that you can look at with golden frames, things of that sort. The controls are very simple arrow keys, you can have an interact button, and you have a button to run. The game plays on the controller or on the keyboard, I'm using the keyboard, but even so, no mouse is required. All you do is move, move faster, and pick things up or open doors or look more closely at things. And that's all you need to do. The art style and the sound design are impeccable. They really get into your head regarding how horrifying the experience can be. Speaking of which, I have already recorded, recorded the, uh, the first installments before making this intro section here, so I can tell you that partway through it, I bring up the use of headphones, so I'm going to compensate for that and bring those up now. The game certainly supports headphones, and in fact directly encourages them. I do too. But I will admit that I'm being a hypocrite in that I am not going to be using them myself, because I did for the alpha. That was so brutal. The game definitely has an enhanced effect with headphones, but that freaking got to me. So if you want to enhance the experience for yourselves, oh, do go ahead and do so, but be warned. It's not like, ooh, cool extra sound. It actually does make the whole experience scarier. There's a certain thing to be, uh... There's, there's a certain effect to be had when the sounds are coming from specific directions. It's very intimidating. Now, what is going on in the game? Never any nightmares. That's pretty much it. You keep waking up, and things change, and they tend to get worse. What is happening? Is this real? That would be horrible. Are these never-ending nightmares? That would be horrible. Have you just gone mad? Well, that would be horrible too. What is actually the case? I don't know, but I'm going to do my best to find out. Prepare for a true terror of a game. Let's go crazy. boy. We are back. Ugh. You hear the discordant sound there? Oh boy. Options. Screen resolution looks good. Graphics quality's fine. Key bindings up, down, left, right, enter. Okay, space is good too. Yeah, this is an all keyboard game if I so desire. Escape. Yeah, I'm not playing with a controller, so rumble is irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, this is from the Alpha, I believe. I am not going to be tackling that again, so there's no need for continue or nightmare select. I will start from the beginning in case anything has changed, which I'm sure it has. 
This is going to be a full playthrough of Never Ending Nightmares. God help us all. Ugh. You know, one thing I want to point out right off the bat, did you notice the arm that was stabbing the little girl? It, the shirt had a bunch of anchors on it. We are not wearing that. Um, I was wondering if that would be like a big twist later or something. I mean, yeah, we might have a change of clothes, but food for thought. And there's the girl in the left picture with feet behind her. Someone's coming just immediately. And who is this dashing gentleman, hmm? Those pants in the closet. I guess it's nothing. I was looking for, I was actually looking for the anchors. You never know. Now let's go to this house with the most transformative layout in the world. All the birds in the center picture. The guy coming up on the left. Way too many pictures in this house. Way too many pictures. I was told during the alpha that there were a bunch of pictures of Slender Man as well as a little nod to people who noticed it. Apparently that was removed um, after that point just because... Yeah, shadows. Just because um, it takes you a little too outside the game. And I get it. It's a cute little thing to have in there, but it's not in the world of Never Ending Nightmares. You like that hanged man over there, by the way? Got these pictures hanging in our house. And you know that this guy doesn't have these kinds of pictures in his house. Therefore, is this a nightmare? Why is he having it? I thought we just woke up. Etc. Etc. Ugh. Well, I remember that from before. Let's take a look at that penetrating, dead stare. <laughs> I'm gonna get off of that while I can. I'm just waiting for someone to blink or something. Like in a, <laughs> like an it. More observing of the pictures. They really are gorgeous. Here's another one we could take a look at. Ooh, that is classy. See, already there's a change at the Alpha, and there's a mysterious man coming after our sister. I think that might have been one of the Slender Man pictures. He's just kind of hiding behind the trees all the time. Now it's just a creepy man with an axe. Which does put you more into the world of this game. I think it was uh, a decision, like a good decision. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not know which is the line, but just wait for it. Oh, Father... Why have you forsaken me? Which line is it? I don't know, but... Hmm. Well, I don't have a mouse so you can't see, but perhaps it's line two of... Psalm 21. Deus, Deus, meus, respisin me, quare me, derelequisti. Pardon me if I butcher the language, I cannot read Latin. But if you want to look it up for yourself, take a look at the Bible and go to Psalms 21 and 22. And I guess 20, considering the reliance before 21. Ugh. God, does this house suck. Why would anybody be here? Of course, this... Ugh. Of course, this may be the Mansion of Nightmares from uh, Fatal Frame 3, so you never know... God, that's creepy. Disappear, please. Disappear, please. Disappear, please. Just thank you. You never know with that guy. Okay. Thank God I remember that from the first time. My heart still skipped a freaking beat. Of course, that's just this level. God only knows what's coming up in later levels. 
I both anticipate and highly dread these things. For those of you who have not watched my Alpha LP, by the way, I have been remiss in my duties. You will notice that the game's controls are beautiful in their simplicity. Move around with the arrow keys, interact with it. Ugh. Ooh, I actually twitched for that one. <sighs> interact with enter space, and hold shift to run, which I will not do much because you get tired, Silent Hill style, and you do not need to get tired when there's a damn enemy chasing you. As for what you can interact with, things that are in color. Only things that are in color. It makes the game easier to get through, and it makes the color all the more jarring, as you can see here. Now what kind of meat was put through that grinder? Knowing this house, I'll give you three guesses. I also love the look on this guy's face. He is so not ready for this. You see his eyes are all shifty. I stay in my freaking bed. Here's something you're gonna find that I'm gonna find very frustrating. You cannot run downstairs or upstairs. So, um, if there's a long staircase, you're just gonna kinda have to agonize through it and hope to God nothing's coming your way. Alexander Bruce, 1765 to 1821. <laughs> What's on the back? That is some crypt, look at that. Lloyd Fitzroy Smith, Mocha White, Mr. D. Winter and his Emily Ann, Kevin A. Smith, Steve Lynn. You know something? In the Alpha, I could have sworn I saw Johann Sebastian Gilgenbach. Named after, of course, the composer, but also Matt Gilgenbach. I wonder where that grave is, if it was changed. Gabby, no! <laughs> You're still sleeping? You promised we'd meet for breakfast. Huh? Oh. Are you okay? You look upset. I'm sorry. I I just had a terrible nightmare. I dreamt you were dead. <laughs> That's silly. I'm fine. Besides, you always promised you'd take care of your little sister. Well, that was when we were kids. It's still true, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you try to get back to sleep? I'll wait outside. Not the worst nightmare we're gonna have. Also, she was a little cavalier about our dream. I know the whole, it was just a dream silly thing because it was, but you know, if, if, if someone woke up and said they dreamed you were dead, you could at least be like, whoa, dude, that's rough. <laughs> Instead of like, ah, well. <laughs> I remember this, might as well show it off if it's here. We really awake, are we? We really awake now? Never ending nightmares. Not a misnomer. The pictures have changed, they've gotten actually worse. Also the music's gone. We have sound effects, but the music is gone. Ugh. Some pictures persist though, like those two on the right. They're in different locations, but the images are the same. A lot of military people in this. <laughs> nice skull, dude. Look at all these classy pictures.
Whoa, that is one mean stare. Why would you blow that picture up and put it on your wall? God, she's staring into my soul. Choose your poison. The basement or the other pitch black passage. Oh Christ, am I gonna regret this. Also, yeah, no running. Also, I don't remember there being a stairs transition the first time I tried this. Goodbye, that was fun. That was real fun, I don't need to be down there. Ugh, everything is terrible. Mm, and I like I come out just to have that girl just... What a hateful gaze. More on these planks later. Man, what a nightmare. I, I know, duh, but you get up, your sister leaves the room, she's gone, here's the house. Where is anything? What is anything? And again, I'm stopping often. I apologize because it makes my me look very stuttery, but I'm trying to get a load of these pictures. Easy now. <laughs> I remember this from last time. Look at those, uh, those little letter blocks. Almost murder, isn't it? Another soldier in the bathroom. Ooh. Where is the exit? Where is... There it is. Let me see something first. Ugh, that girl piercing me with her gaze. Okay, I just came full circle, that's all I wanted to check. So I don't believe I needed to go that way, it was just extra flavor. <laughs> the chip in the distance behind me in the picture. It's debatable whether I even want flavor in this game, it gets, me t it gets to me too much. Although, I love this. Good lord, is that dark. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? I wouldn't mind knowing where the hell my sister is. Oh, God. And this is the part of the game I hate. I mean, it's well designed, but... My nerves. Easy now. I knew it was coming, I didn't know when, and again, not that you could see anything, but I twitched. You know, face cam was cute for my alpha let's play, but I'm not going to be doing it for an entire game, it's a little too gimmicky, and it takes away from the game itself. Oh, well, look at you. Can I observe this? I can. Relax. Everything is nice and easy. Like the end of every Goosebumps chapter, what could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought the basement was bad. No, it wasn't. Ah, looks like we're going back in the dark room after all. Ugh, again, look at that dead stare of this guy. I have a candle and I know how to use it. Oh, help me. There you are. 
and it's my own body. My God, why have you forsaken me? Well, that was really, that was really fun and all. I've had enough. Oh, I remember that. You're not gonna get me this time. You got me good last time, but you're not getting me again. <laughs> See? I knew you were coming that time. Scared the crap out of me the first time. And now things get unpleasant. Well, <laughs> more unpleasant. See, here's the thing. I never continued the alpha because I did not want to spoil myself, so I've only seen this level, which has already gotten changes. Give me a second. There it is. <sighs> and I've seen part of the second level. Now, good news and bad news. Oh, it didn't go off again. Uh, good news and bad news? Good news, I don't know what's coming. Um, after what I've seen at the second level. Terrible news for me. I don't know what's coming. <laughs> so this ought to be interesting. I will say, this level... Th oh, this level really, really stuck with me. Now we can explore the... Terribleness, the terror, that is our basement. Assuming it's our basement. Nice and easy. Relax. Nice and calm. Let's just stay in the dark for a little while. and easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Uh. Mm. I remember something like that from not the trailer, not the not the gameplay, but the teaser from from like PAX Prime or something or just PAX from a couple of years before this game came out that I, I I covered my eyes for that I knew it was coming I, I cannot deal with veins I really can't Ugh, I'm glad it happened now so I don't have to anticipate it for the entire game it's already over also silly me for checking the wrong door I, I, I can't deal with that that certainly was not in the alpha oh yeah Ugh, it's just getting darker behind me. <laughs> May the rats eat your eyes. The darkness comes. It will damn us all. You may wonder why I'm still not running. Because this content is new and I don't want to run to my death. I know the game tends to make it obvious when there are enemies here. I am far more concerned about... Okay. Do you he I'm far more concerned about scares of this kind than I am enemies. If there's one thing I'm not doing, it is sprinting straight into something that scares the piss out of me. If an enemy kills me, I don't mind too terribly much. But if I get the crap scared out of me because of I just blundered it into it. That's another story. Sorry, I had to actually press the action button each time. Also, stairs. I cannot stand these stair sequences. You see the darkness above and below? I'm waiting, I'm waiting for something to come of that. Something's gonna reach up at me. There you are. There you are. 
And now the house has deteriorated. And the picture is in this room. And I am axeless. And my room has changed. Or I have awakened in a different room. Did I mention this game scares me? I kid you not, I have not been this on edge playing a video game since the first Fatal Frame. This really might be one of the, if not the, scariest games I've played. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you'll know that I've played a lot. This game is unnerving. Excuse me, color? This is different. Ah, I did that. That was. Oh, woof. Did not need to see that. That was a new thing. Gugh. Her dead, jet black eyes. Piercing my freaking soul. I know this sounds stupid, but could I please have an enemy so I can concentrate on it and not. Everything around me. Hey, speak of the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, stealth mechanics. You know, I'm curious if. I'm curious as to whether one of these things is gonna, like, be a scare. That would be a dick move. It would certainly work, though. Oh, uh, this music. I'm telling you. Again, I'm not I'm not playing, well not again, but I'm not playing with headphones right now. The game itself recommends that you use headphones. And to be a hypocrite, honestly, in all seriousness, so do I. It really enhances the experience. But it got into my head so badly last time I did it, I, I can't bring myself to do it again. It's good, but it's like too good. If you want to get scared, Put on headphones. I know I'm late telling you this. We're like, we're, we're we're pushing a half hour into the installment now, like 25 minutes. But if you want, if you want to just not sleep tonight, use headphones. Ugh. Everything's falling into disrepair and decay. Cobwebs on the top. Oh. Please don't do this. T okay, fine, fine, fine. I was waiting for it to be different. I really was. I'm sorry I went out of it so quickly and it's like a flash on your screen. I am sorry that's an inconvenience to you. I'm not ready for it. I want to get out. I want to just have the image, like the after image, burned into my brain. That'll be good enough. I don't need to linger on something that creepy. I know that's kind of what you're here for, but, like, I'm not ready for this, man. I play a lot of horror games, but I tend to find them fun. And, ooh, maybe maybe you'll get a thrill, but this is actually a horror game. Like, this is a real horror game. A lot of horror games call themselves horror and have jump scares or moments that are very effective. This one... This is one of the only games I've seen where the whole game is just like, oh no, please don't do this to me. And if you put on headphones during this, God forbid you play this in the dark. I don't want to be isolated with this. <laughs> What's in the box? Hear the crying? Ugh. My god, this game knows how to put on the pressure. Here it comes. Get ready. Give me a sec. Yeah, we're good. Easy now. 
Easy now. Easy. Wait until he turn around. Good enough. Give myself a bit of a head start. If he comes back, then I'll run. It's just that simple. And we're through. Okay, another basement. And I have no choice. And the walls even going down the stairs look like crap. Oh boy. They put on the pressure. And again, that black void below the stairs. They may even be the side of the stairs, but either way, I don't like it. I'm waiting for something to come of this. <laughs> I hate these. One of them is going to be different. One of them will be different, but which one? Okay. Oh, it was more cracked. Okay, I get it. But I still am going to be paranoid when I check them. They're just sitting there, not moving. You have to interact with them. You bring this upon yourself, player. I could keep going. Okay, another corner. That, mm-hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Oh no. Do we have another guest? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. If I have to retreat, then I will. Easy now. Easy now. <laughs> the game trolled me, look at that. Now, now that's how you build tension. Is there an enemy here? Actually, no, but you really thought there was, didn't you? Uh, this music, God. <sighs> I have to, oh, come on, stop with these. That, it had a facial expression change. Okay. I forgot, this is the House of Infinite Floors. No, this time I'm really going to the basement. Actually, no, it wasn't the basement. You can keep going down. When did I wake up? Uh, like the fourth floor? Oh, this house sucks. Unless each of the... Unless each of these is, in fact, a basement. That would put me out. I think these bedrooms are, like, respawn rooms. Should I die? Ugh, the hallways are getting darker. The house is turning to crap. Well, <laughs> I remember this. This I should be able to handle. Wait for it. He is a fast one. Can I reach the door in time. Yes, I can. Yeah, no. The darkness is spreading. Ugh, I even remember that that happened. That still scared me. Hear the baby crying? God, do I hate that. Fine by me. Thank you for being a dead end. If there's one thing I don't want to do, it's explore this house. And yet... Oh, please, stop with these! What? It's smiling this time. See, this is what I like. This... Ugh. This is how you build up pressure. Not a single scare in all of those. Not directly. Uh, it's just a regular picture. But you see the change. If you're willing to pay attention. 
to all the dolls. Not sure I hear anything. Oh! Well, I wasn't so bad. He really has to be on top of you for you to hear those footsteps. Now here's the question, when does he turn around? Uh huh. As long as I'm not stupid, I should be able to follow him. Ugh, even his walk speed is faster than mine. Forget running. You keep going, I'll be over here. This is the worst. I still... I still don't hear footsteps. Okay. They are faint. You, you pretty much has to be on screen. Now, you haven't seen it here, but, um... Good. You haven't seen it here, but I remember one time in the demo, I saw if he sees you go into the, whatever it's called, the armoire, I guess, or the, the wardrobe, the cabinet, I think there might be two. Am I good? Oh, for God's sake, don't do this to me. See? Yeah. If he, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's see if this makes a difference. Ugh. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he does it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. God, that's scary. That's some Metal Gear Solid action here when they kick your box, but they aren't actually kicking it off, so you just have to deal with the pressure. Also, did you notice what he said? Well, hold on. Yeah, did you catch that? Brother? What does that mean? What are you? Why are there two of you in one room? Why was there another of you before? And why is your voice so deep? And why are you wearing a sumo wrestler's cloth? God, I hate you. So, moving on. This room is longer than it was in the Alpha. I think there were two or three wards were supposed to... Oh, he's fast. Four. Watch him come up the stairs, I'll freaking blow a gasket. I also like the way he's going up the stairs so gingerly. That's probably how I do it. These damned dolls. One of them behind a cobweb. At least there's only one way to go. I think we might be done. I think we might have it. Oh good, you weren't hanged. You're just dead the way I first dreamed of you dying. <gasps> and we die in the same pose as, God, why have you forsaken me? Now, one thing real quick. This is where the PAX demo ended, but... What is happening? Uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to nightmare number two. 
for the sake of my nerves, but also for time, but also for my nerves, it is now time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got through the first nightmare. I remembered a bunch of it from the alpha of the game, but there were enough changes to keep me on edge, especially that silent doll that kept changing expressions and deterioration quality when you lifted the cloth from its head. That was a brilliant touch. There were also the gorgeous portraits of the, the people that you could look at up close on the color frames. There were certain subtleties, like the room with two giant babies having an even longer expanse and more wardrobes to hide in. This game, it keeps changing and it keeps remaining terrifying. Next is level 2. I played some of level 2, but after that I have no idea what is coming. This is going to be... this is going to be quite unsettling. Until next time, everyone.